Halloween is all about sequels, and today we got a great sequel to the Marvel Zombies Omnibus. I'm talking about, of course, the Marvel Zombibus Returns. This book has a $125 cover price and a 976 page count. Let's get into this spooky Omnibus overview. And here we have the newly released Marvel Zomnibus Returns Omnibus. You got Deadpool, Wolverine, and Captain America on the cover. Beautiful cover art from the great Inyuk Lee. This is the direct market variant. And on the back of the dust jacket here, you have a cover gallery of all of the issues in this omnibus here. On the inside of the dust jacket, left hand side, a little description about what's collected in this book here. And on the right hand side, a bit about the creators. You get this wraparound cover here. This is some artwork from one of the Marvel Zombies Resurrection issues. You got Galactus there. Taking a look at the binding you have that green ribbon there a big old eye on this man not much gutter loss throughout this book green bookend pages here and then you get this awesome marvel zombies title page here i'm a huge fan of marvel zombies i really love the first marvel zomnibus this one i i'm not as much of a fan of but uh we'll get into that a little bit later you do get a table of contents collected in this book and this does start out with some deadpool merc with a mouth this omnibus does collect the first 13 issues of deadpool merc with a mouth it's a series that begins with deadpool discovering that there's another version of himself from a different reality causing chaos. This other Deadpool, referred to as Headpool, is a zombified talking head of Deadpool from a universe overrun by Marvel zombies. The main Deadpool teams up with severed zombie head version of himself, Headpool, and sets out on a series of humorous and action-packed adventures. Their goal is to find a way to separate Headpool from the Marvel Zombies universe and prevent his world from spilling into theirs. This omnibus also collects Marvel Zombies Christmas Carol, which is a unique and dark humorous twist on the classic Charles Dickens holiday tale, A Christmas Carol. But in this version, the characters of the Marvel Universe are reimagined as of course zombies these issues are set in a world where the marvel heroes have succumbed to a zombie plague it's pretty much the same story of a christmas carol but instead of scrooge you're gonna get the kingpin and of course some marvel zombies the story explores themes of redemption and the christmas spirit even in the midst of a zombie apocalypse this is a fun little one shot to have included in this uh, this omnibus here definitely gives you that marvel zombies vibe it's cheesy it's corny but uh, it's a lot of fun to read. Also collected in this omnibus, you have Marvel Zombies Destroy, which was a limited series. It's part of the Marvel Zombies storyline, but with a unique twist. In this series, the Marvel Universe faces a threat from an evil force known as Project Echelon, which is essentially an organization bent on taking over the world. However, their efforts lead to unintended consequences. This series follows a team of World War II era superheroes known as the Ducky Dozen, who are sent to stop Project Echelon. They find themselves in a world overrun by the Marvel zombies, and they must navigate this dangerous and zombified reality while trying to complete their mission. Marvel Zombies Destroy combines elements of superhero action, zombie horror, and alternate history in the Marvel Universe. It's a unique and entertaining addition to the Marvel Zombies storyline, and it explores how different characters from various Marvel eras deal with the zombie apocalypse, just like Howard the Duck there. Now that I mentioned a couple of the one-shots, and limited series collected in this Marvel Zomnibus Returns. Let's talk about everything that's collected in this book here. So this book collects Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth, issues 1 through 13, Zombies, Christmas Carol, 1 through 5, Marvel Zombies, Destroy, 1 through 5, Marvel Zombies, Halloween, number 1, Marvel Zombies, 2015, 1 through 4, Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies 1 through 4, Marvel Zombie number 1, Marvel Zombies Resurrection 2019 number 1, and Marvel Zombies Resurrection 2020 1 through 4. So a decent amount of Marvel Zombies material collected in this book. Some of it's good, some of it is definitely not that great. A lot of Deadpool, I wasn't too much of a fan of the Deadpool Merc with a Mouth, and that's 13 issues that are collected in this. Unfortunately, some of the best material that's collected in this omnibus 
are the ones with the least issues collected. So like Marvel Zombies Resurrection 2019 issue 1 and Marvel Zombies Resurrection 2020 issues 1 through 4, those were solid man, fantastic stuff, you have the X-Men, Fantastic Four, Galactus appearing in it, always great when Galactus appears in Marvel Zombies material, he has some of my favorite moments in the original material, and then of course you do get the, uh, the Age of Ultron versus Marvel Zombies, that was also a very solid read as well that series is set in a post-apocalyptic marvel universe where the villainous artificial intelligence ultron has conquered earth he has nearly eradicated all of humanity and rules over a decimated world however the grim reality becomes even more complicated when marvel zombies from another dimension arrive so that's dope man uh, those were really solid i do wish that it had um Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness, I'm not sure why they didn't include that in this omnibus here. Uh, that was a bummer for sure. You do get a fairly decent amount of bonus material collected in this omnibus, the Deadpool and Headpool, a love story, a bunch of different variant covers, some great stuff from like Peach Momoko. Unfortunately, sequels can't always top the original and this one definitely fell flat for me. Let me know what you think about this Marvel Zomnibus Returns down in the comments and of course, as always, thanks for watching.